five dollars you get the whole suit of clothes including some workable shoes what's that yana can i just like take some parts of the dress i have off so i have just like some base ba like make uh, something basic out of what i have oh my god no that'd be unseemly um <laughs> because you you each different layer that you're wearing is for something completely dead. it'd be like it'd be like saying can i take off my shirt and just go around in a bra you could but it's unseemly and you're like but the bra covers all the important shit no no that's not the point you can't <laughs> get away with this but you could for like uh uh five dollars buy a very basic dress that you can go and fight in and stuff or for seven dollars you could dress like Matt. Fuck him. You could become a dude now as far as these things are concerned. Mm. Because it seems if you're wearing a dress, they think you're female. If you're wearing pants, they think you're a guy. And now they think Australians can switch genders at will. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's tempting. <laughs> well, um, honestly, uh, dresses are less fun to, uh, say, fight in than pants, yeah. I think. But it's up to you. I mean... You, you, the woman with no name is a pretty fucking rough and tumble customer. Yeah. Um, I mean, literally, she is fucking beating people up with her fists. Um, <laughs> I try it. Yeah, I try some menswear. You know, it's it it it's, they don't make uh like as comfortable of trousers for women, but basically, if you wear loose enough stuff, mm. yeah, you, you yeah. for seven dollars you can get something like nice like what he's wearing or for uh three dollars you can get like i'm lower class man <laughs> you know like the the other picture i put up in black and white mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I will just choose what is more comfortable to wear the lower class shit is actually a lot more comfortable than the upper class yeah. shit okay because the upper class shit like the collars and stuff pretty much your head needs to be you know yeah, I will take the low, lower class. Lower now, class. Yeah. How much money do you have left after all that uh, spending spree? How much did we have? Fifty-eight dollars. Fifty-eight. Dollars. I. Mm. Five I eight. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Here, I'll go check. Because I know my memory shit. Fifty-eight. Is it? Yeah. So, and poor Rhino. So we have forty-four, if I count correctly. Mm, I don't think you do because. No. Uh, well, wait, no, you do. Yeah, you no, know, no, you got it. Yeah. Cool. This is why you don't get to keep the money, isn't it? Because you're not sure on math. I understand. <laughs> math is horrible. It really is, but they make calculators in the phones now. It's awesome. I All know. phones have one. So, so anyway, uh, right. So you got forty-four dollars left. Just so you know, if you were to buy a pistol with a pistol belt and bullets and bullets in the belt and all that shit, if you were to buy that, which you don't really need unless you want a second mm -hmm. one, all of that shit together, twenty dollars. Touching. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Fortunately, your biggest cost, which would be like a place to stay, is gone. Uh, for a horse, you could buy a horse for as little as ten dollars. Piece of shit horse. Mm -hmm. um, a good, decent riding horse though is like one hundred and fifty dollars. That's kind of like the car of this time period. Mm -hmm. Room and room and board for uh, uh, men was a dollar more per month for some reason. But it's like three dollars per month for room and board. That's a place to stay with food. Okay. So for three dollars a month, that's not bad. It's not bad, yeah. Yeah, but you guys are apparently staying at the Australian Embassy, so you get to save six dollars a month between wow. the two of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sense. Look at that fucking savings. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. Actually, it'd be a bit more because you've also got a kid. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I don't want any kids here. You've got a kid now, though. He's like, he oh. or she is like 11. Yeah, but I, I'm a man now, so I, I get to leave the kid somewhere. And well, no, you can't care. leave your family behind like okay. that. <laughs> you can. That's what fathers do. 
Fathers, yes, but a you know, mother cannot run away before her child yeah, is born. But but I'm a man now, so I don't care. Oh, good point. Yeah, okay. It's taken so care of. You've become a man in order to be able to ditch your kid. Yes. Nice. Real <laughs> nice. Good strategy. It's worth it. Yes. Cool. So, yeah, uh, is there anything uh, else you'd like to buy? I mean, for $7, you can get a barrel of flour. <laughs> no, that's not I what... I don't know if you'd like one, but... Men, men let people don't do that. No, men, men would go and buy whiskey shots somewhere. Exactly. Where is the bar? I want to find a hot house or something. <laughs> He wants to go to a horror house, she said. <laughs> He's agreeing. Do uh, you want to go to a bar you'd heard about or a different bar? Um, we can, well, we can, I would like to explore the Goblin Bar. Ah, that's the Boneyard, okay. Yeah, but, yeah. But, no problem. Okay. Hmm. I will tell you about the Boneyard and stuff. Yeah. Let's see where to go. No, our, ah, oh no, that means going to arcology. Hold oh, on, I'll oh. give you guys a general. Oh no, <laughs> yes, yes, but no, no worries. I will give you a description of the arcology. Okay. Can you hear me? Okay, Matthew. Yep. Great. Let's see arcology. Ah, uh, right. Lots of soldiers and townspeople here. Um, whereas in the downtown, they didn't wear a lot of weapons. Here, they got the weapons on. Um, lots of them are like the push the bullet down the barrel style flint and uh, wheel locks. And yeah, wheel locks, which even are supposed to be fancier than flint locks. Uh, soldiers patrol in bright blue colored uniforms. Um, various braiding stripes feathers and hats um you can kind of guess at who the officer is with these uniforms these aren't like the camouflage these are the opposite of the camouflage inconspicuous type uniforms okay mm -hmm. uh both of you guys get to attempt to make a new uh uh skill called leoness military uniform recognition so basically, give me a roll and learn. If you make it, you get a new, interesting, no. long skill. If not, meh. No. Close. Mm, let's see. Um, there also look to be a lot of other types of people. Cowboys, merchants, traders, children. Uh, the population, uh, including the soldiers, seems pretty evenly split along gender lines. Um, pretty much unlike our own sad, pathetic world, they don't seem to give a shit what gender somebody is. It's like, she's a cowboy. He is uh, uh, sweeping up, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's all fucking Disney mismatch weird shit. Um, let's see. There's also uh, three short, stocky, super dark brown guys standing in an unmoving group. They have no hair at all, including eyebrows. They're dressed in a combination of diaper and loincloth with capes and feathered headdresses. Only the whites of their eyes are showing, and all of them seem to glow with the inner red light, almost as though, like, if you could see their aura and their aura was red, mm. that kind of deal. Near them are six different colored men only wearing the diaper parts with normal-looking eyes. Uh, all of the, the six guys are all wearing leg shackles, and they have uh, empathy rolls. Here, I'll get you a nice picture of diapers and stuff. Right, here we go. Um. Yes. Okay. They both have, or all the six guys wearing leg shackles and stuff, all look hopeless and resigned mm -hmm. to their fate and stuff. Uh, next to the picture of Ahoy, the uh, cockatoo, uh, you can see uh, A through F, and A is how the uh, the people with the leg shackles and stuff are dressed. 
B, C, D, and E are how the three that are watching you with the big red auras are dressed. No way is dressed like F. Sorry. Yes, I know you're fucking disappointed not to get to see that. Um, What's that? The picture I showed. It was dressed like what? Thing? F. All right. The guy in the dark green. Nobody's dressed like that. Mm. That's here in this group that's watching you. Um, let's see. The the furries give those guys, the dark brown dudes, a wide berth. Does, uh, I will take anthropology roles. No. Right. All of the construction in this uh, part of the city, the archaeology, feels a bit more slapdash, a bit more temporary. Um, there's also, you see disappearing by you into the crowd, a Gringotts looking goblin dude. Like from the Harry Potter films. Yana, did you see any of the Harry Potter movies? Yeah. Okay, you remember the goblins from the bank? Yes. Yes, that's what the goblins look like. Okay. Um, let's see. There's also uh, various tall, thin figures dressed in the combination of Lord of the Rings and American Indian style. Near them are a bunch of other stock thin figures that are dressed in tattered robes with hoods up that completely obscure their faces and you're guessing their vision. They stand motionless. Everybody seems to be watching your party intently. They're just hanging out apparently. Um, your guess is that the arcology area kind of seems to be the foreign quarter slash trading area. Not a lot of shops, but lots of wallless tents with rickety tables and shit. Or in the good old USSR style, Put a blanket on the ground, put your shit on it, and hope to fucking eat tonight. Yeah. Um, but you guys head over to the boneyard. In the boneyard, uh, rather than the alien type decor you're used to, there's a lot of cattle skulls and shit like that in here. There's also fresh sawdust on the floor, and there's also a harpsichord playing. Um, there's Elves are sitting over in the corner drinking what looks like wine. In the middle of the room are four large crudely made statues spaced regularly around the bar. Um, you thought you saw one of them turn its head slightly to look at somebody else. Here drink elves, furries, goblins. Um, the wait staff all seems to be furries, you know, waitresses and waiters and stuff. They all seem to be fur furries. So plenty of seedy looking furries here. The elves are looking very regal and super contemptuous of everybody. Um, there's a sign that says spit on the floor and I'll spit you and a different sign that says no undead. Uh, give me streetwise at negative 30 since you are definitely not climatized yet or half either one. Theoretically, all to I'm sure this is a totally different city with a very coincidental name. Uh, did Yana make hers? I don't think I have Streetwise. Really? Where is it? Oh, mm -hmm. oh, I did. I at half? No, I still didn't. I have ninety. Nineteen. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, that's not quite at half then, because if you have yeah. 19, I know, I know. Half would be like <laughs> I less than 10. Yes, I know. <laughs> okay. Well, you think that this is definitely a fucking seedy place. Um, there's also some goblin, you're not sure if it's young, old, gender, whatever, sitting up in a high chair, observing things from behind a bar in the back of the room. He is not tending bar. He has furries for that. He's just watching shit. Mm. Um, and it looks um, malicious, just like a fucking hate-filled little gremlin that ate after midnight. That's from a different movie, yeah. yeah. Um, I wouldn't know. No, of course not. I, it's, it's not a fucking. It's not an edgy French film, Yana. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah. Um, it looks, it, it definitely looks like an interesting kind of place. And give me a listen roll, uh, 
both of you, Yana, if you make your listen roll, you can try a new Latin roll since your Latin is not yet 60. Yeah. Matt needs not make a new Latin roll. No. You didn't? Okay. Yeah, people are talking and stuff's going on and all that shit. Uh, a uh, lady with a fox head comes up and goes, table? Yeah. Two? Yes. Follow. No, we only need one table, ma'am. <laughs> oh. That's bad. Okay. She takes you guys to a uh, table and sits you down. Uh, this looks like a pretty rough place. Um, after you guys get seated and drinks brought, um, you guys are drinking your drinks, and uh, the music stops. There's two, because the guy who was playing the harpsichord, he needs a break. He's wandered off, so the, har the harpsichord is free. Um, the door opens, two elves, one old, one young. The old one goes, blah, blah, blah. and he goes deeper into uh, the, the bar to talk at uh, um, to our people. The younger one stands there looking around. Behind him are two heavily swathed individuals. Uh, one is pretty short and the other one much taller. And the bartender, or sorry, the goblin guy on the chair goes, hey, we don't serve their kind here. The young elf goes, huh? You're undead. You'll have to leave them outside. And the young elf turns and murmurs something to two swapped individuals who then leave. Okay. Hmm. Yes, I actually overloaded Pete with the amount of shit that's currently going on in this. <laughs> One of the elves that's talking, he seems very angry about something, but you guys are too far away to hear. Well, well when I say you guys, I mean the guy who can actually understand Elvish is too far away to hear. Mm. Yana, you're pretty much needing one of those translator things you can hold in your ear, yeah. like the United Nations plaque in front of you. Yeah. Tell the elves that uh, we will not give up our trading rights unless the price of cotton goes down by 14%. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, is there a... Uh, give me a luck roll and it's even close to the elves area. I've got luck. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you can you can go over there. You will be the only person dancing unless you can convince anybody else to dance with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, lady with no name. I'm a man oh. with no name now. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Um, it shows somebody else uh, uh, come over and they're playing the harpsichord. It sounds a lot like Burn Baby Burn Disco Inferno that he's playing on the harpsichord, but it's in the weird, creepy harpsichord thing. Both of you guys give me dance rolls, please. I am terrible, but I'm enjoying it. I'm also terrible, even a little worse than he is. <laughs> Cut two, it shows one of the elves. Give me new listen rolls. You're much closer. But the harpsichord is playing. But it gets you a new roll, if nothing else. No. You oh, don't know or care what the elves are saying, I guess. I right? actually, I I don't know which. I actually did it because, yeah, the, the one before is the dance roll. Ah, OK, good. You can try a new Latin roll, Yana, just to see what you don't understand, because the people yeah. that you're trying to listen to are speaking in a foreign language. I use skill five. <laughs> do you have a check? Well, if you've already got check in Latin, I oh. think you do, actually. Oh, it's true. So it's... Uh. Now you suck. Yes. Uh, that's a fumble. Right. They're like, look at her shoes. I despise <laughs> her shoes. Her shoes are only fit for people like her. Only people like her wear such shoes. Meanwhile, Matt, you're getting a totally different conversation. And one of them says, you should not discuss such things in the public place. And the other one's like, nobody here is smart enough to speak Latin. Even the new Australians do not understand our language. <laughs> and he says, but still, somehow the secret got out about the trap that we had laid in the embassy. And the other one goes, yes, yes, who would have thought? But it, 
it's probably just bad luck on our part. Why would they search our embassy and dig up the floor and discover the honored ancestors laying in wait there? Ah, do not worry about it. Yes, yes, but the, the totem pole that they stole. I know, I know, and the head and the foot, but it can go without <laughs> the head and the foot. Soon we will launch the attack. When, when, says the Earl. As soon as Princess Danny is gone, it is too dangerous to do it with the royal guard here. We would lose more honored ancestors and perhaps people. Hmm. Does that mean we are calling ourselves the people? Do not make those other references to a different people calling themselves people. That is so racist. I know, but I am a racist elf. <laughs> then we can let it slide. So she will be leaving later today. And then we will attack soon. Tomorrow, we should let them get a little further away, but soon. Don't worry, the word will be given by the revered one. And one of our preparations in the forest. You should not say such things here. Somebody may understand. The goblins are crafty and clever. They care only for gold. Yes, it is set up within the forest. And yes, our priests are doing it now, soon. The creature with no foot and no head shall kill them all. Ha, 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 ha. And they all go, ha, ha, ha. And the next table of elves. <laughs> and they all, all the elves stop and look at him. And one of them says in Latin to you, what's so funny? What? Told you they didn't speak our language. And <laughs> <laughs> the elves at the table stand up like the, oh, I think we're going to get into a fight type of standing up, aggressive, intimidating thing. They, in fact, attempt their intimidate role as a group. Rawr, they say. Yeah. Bunch yeah. of fucking Bilbo Baggins rejects, you think? They aren't that scary. <laughs> They kind of form a line in front of you, and one says in broken English, he's like, what funny you? I start uh, laughing. I'm glaring at her because she snickered <laughs> at him. I'm laughing at the, my own dancing. Give me a fast talk roll. You're at negative 20. They don't understand your That's language. True. Yeah, but they don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> Fumble. Oh, no. <laughs> they pull out fucking knives. <laughs> and uh, at that point, the goblin goes, take it outside or I kill everybody, and he says in Latin. Take it outside or die. The elves uh, look at him. They weigh up their odds. Super high, they're super dumb. Over 80, they're super, super dumb. Now, they put away their knives. They nod toward the bartender. They go, We'll be waiting outside. No, wait, they say it badly. They go, outside, we, you. <laughs> they go outside. We go out the back door. <laughs> <laughs> There's only like three or four of them. No, four, four of them. Uh, yeah. They've just got fucking knives. What well, I don't want them to, I don't want them to upset their plans that they're going to be put in motion. Oh, no problem. Are, are you guys wanting to leave now? I mean, Yana's yeah. probably got more drinks. Huh? Okay. You guys ignore the elves threatening you. They stand outside and start feeling dumber and dumber as time goes on. Eventually, they just do something. <laughs> we'll get to the next time. Yeah. Apparently. So, um, both of you guys give me alcohol tolerance rolls, please. As the inevitable happens. Good. Alex is doing good. He's gotten philosophical, Alex, again. I'm not doing good. Yana's gotten fucking sleepy time, Yana, again. Yeah. We call her Hypnol Lady with No Name. <laughs> <laughs> She's just doing the laying on the floor, staring. Yeah. Uh, they don't stop serving. Um, mark, off, mark off $8 for drinks. Okay. Well, you bet. Literally, you don't know what time it is. You you've had enough that the the woman with no name is pretty much in need of the wheelbarrow service. I did include wheelbarrow service in that tab. <laughs> they think she's a dude. They come over with a wheelbarrow and go, "Excuse me, sir. Would you like the wheelbarrow service for your friend now?" Uh. They fucking 
toss her into the wheelbarrow. What are you doing? Taking what? you home, mister. What? Don't you worry about a thing. You look pretty. Oh, thank you so much. I'm going to need a tablecloth. Excuse me. <laughs> Comes back, puts a tablecloth over her head. There we go. All better now. <laughs> and away goes the woman or man with no name. Mm. Are you wanting to continue drinking or the uh, the bartender's rather impressed with you? He comes over, he brings you a free drink, and he goes. This is a stronger drink than you might be used to, but I was curious to see how you can handle it. I'm I, Kelly. It's really super strong and may kill you. I'm lucky about Right. Give me an alcohol tolerance at half or negative 30. Your choice. No. Wheelbear services. <laughs> and follow the other one. Right. The, the goblin was set to be very, very impressed and a little scared if you were like ha ha I, I will use my i will use a free roll ah but wheelbarrow service is included with the bill mm -hmm. got it. you got it yeah goblin's like again it is the legend this is rather nice hmm he says so what brings you to town? I'm uh, Australian. Ah, I've heard of these Australians. Mm -hmm. What is it you seek, Australian? Many things. Are you here for the magic? Yes. I see. And what do you have to trade for it? Mm -hmm. ah. Information, maybe? That's very lucrative information. It would have to be for learning of the earth magic. Oh, of the earth magic, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so the the goblin's twitching his ears at you. His big fucking bat-like ears twitch around. I would call you Betty. <laughs> <laughs> the goblin's name, if you would like it, is... Well, you can definitely call him Betty. It's Frags Slub. You can call him Slub if you wish. Slub. What do you, what do you generally normally like to pass with the Slub? Is it uh, work done? Uh, well, money, I guess. Uh, if people want to use something as valueless as coin in order to learn the beginning of the earth magic, then uh, I charge them a very hefty fee, say oh. $200 per person. But oh. information, I may be interested. Slub begins to play with his uh, almond-like nipples. <laughs> Goblins are pretty horrifying creatures, you think. Meanwhile, Yana, it's your first trip in a wheelbarrow and disadvantage cobblestones. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it just gets better and better. And you pretty much got a fucking tablecloth over your head because the guy doesn't want to talk to you anymore. And it feels like home. <laughs> I think you may be muted, Yana. You may wish to unmute yourself or <laughs> perhaps plug in something. Yeah. Maybe use your words when you're talking. Yeah. I don't know what the problem is. Oh, there you go. Yes. Yay. Yay. So you seemed happy anyway about the wheelbarrow thing. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel pretty it. Much, pretty much what, what ends up happening is uh, wheelbarrow service, the, the guy knocks on the door. Some kid answers and he goes, excuse me, could you step to one side? Thank you. And then he goes, have a nice night. And the kid's like, and then he takes away the wheel. You are literally barely inside the Australian embassy. And the kid's doing the polling and he discovers 13 years old, not polling a fully grown woman who is fucking 
just uh -huh. pretty much meat bladder at this point. It's not happening. But you've got a tablecloth, which then the guy comes back, takes, and then wheels away again. Forgot that. And so the kid brings blankets and shit. He can't even get your fucking shoes off because he doesn't know how laces work. So you're pretty much, he just puts enough blankets and stuff on you that you're like a little heap, which would be awkward if anybody else was coming home. Hmm. We'll see if Alex trips over you when he comes in, which would yeah. be hilarious. And not the first time that that's happened either. Yeah, I'm used to it. I just sleep on the floor happily. <laughs> You guys get drunk a lot together, so I'm imagining there's many times when you've either tripped over each other, thrown up on each other, whatever. Yeah. It's just <laughs> one, of those, yeah, one of those fucking weird things, you know, it just happens. When yeah, men and women get drunk together, they it's, throw up on each it's other. It's why it's yeah, it's why we trust each other because we <laughs> we throw up at each other constantly. That's, that's right. That's right. We <laughs> throw up on each other. I each other. <laughs> I'm imagining the scene where like the woman with no name is on all fours throwing up and Alex is holding her hair back and they throws up on the back of her head. <laughs> These yeah. are the kind of bonding moments I'm imagining. Exactly. <laughs> oh, 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 oh God. Imagine having somebody throwing up no, on the back of your, no. uh, your hair. Anyway, <laughs> bonding. So, um, it shows you like, it shows Alex throwing up and you're like looking for hair to hold and you're like, fuck it, ah, hey back, motherfucker, ah, put your finger down your throat. And he's like, God oh, damn it. But anyway. <laughs> um, right, Alex, what are you going to do? You're talking to Slob. Slob. He looks attentive. What, what would you like then? You said something about information. I am interested in information. If it's good enough, and I'm assuming it's for you and that other guy you were with. Yeah. Hmm. Better be good to it better be four hundred dollars worth of information or more. I've got some crazy information. It can't be that good. On many, many, many things. Many things. What would you like to hear about? Tell me about me. Yeah, I'm the most important person in my world. Of course you are. Hmm. You can see how you sit on the very end there and parade over your domain. You're a complete 100% in charge. I know all that already. And you're a goblin. Yeah, I'm, I'm familiar, he says. <laughs> Do you have any useful information? Anything that might help me in my business or help me make more money? Ah. Well, I'm looking around. So what, what, I mean, at the moment, they've just got a bar and... Uh, there's a bar, there's a dance floor, there's a place for a small band, uh, there's a harpsichord, there's a bunch of elves drinking wine, different elves, not the ones that fucking track you. You are missing a big trick here. A big trick. There's four big statue dudes that might be able to come to life and pulverize people. What's that? He says. I'll give you two things. I'm not doing a restaurant. No. Nope. All right. Bum fights. What? Bum fights. I can't do. Are you? Are you talking? What is a bum? A bum. A homeless person. I thought you meant a butt. No. Fights. Oh. Betting. We don't have homeless people here. Uh, okay. We'll just pay two people to fight each other. People go crazy for that. The, the colonel would never allow that. Why not? Because it's a military outpost. Right, well, that's why you have it in a, you move it every time you do it, and you have it in an undisclosed location. It's a small it military secret. outpost. Make it top secret. And How will I get customers? It. What? How do I get people to, to pay to watch it or something? I don't want just two guys in a closet fighting. I don't, nobody cares. How's and that going to make me money? Words through your underground connections. Underground? Yes. What do you know about the underground? Many things. Really? Yes. You know about the tunnel system? I certainly do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, we do. No, you don't. <laughs> yes, we do. I don't. Anyway. What? Let me finish. All right. Bum fights. Eh. Undisclosed location. Eh. Or. Or. Is. Gambling illegal here? 
What did it's you a know? military outpost. Of, of course it's not illegal. Everybody gambles and stuff. Yeah, Nobody so cares. Why don't you go gambling going on here? Why don't you go cramps tables? Goblins like it more than the beast kid. The beast kid don't really like it. <gasps> what? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. That's crazy. I know. Why would they not like that? I don't know. They're just weird. Okay. I mean, your... you can't even get one beastkin to sell an hour of time with its body to a different beastkin because they just don't seem to get it. They say, I don't want to get married. And I'm like, what's marriage got to do with it? I don't understand, but they that's how they are. They're just weird. Hmm. So yeah. Play towards your audience and so what do they like? I am. They want to come in and have a drink and maybe be CD. This is the place. Just be CD. Yeah. That's it. Pretty much. Boring people. Oh yeah. Yeah. I can see you're a man of discernment. Yes. You I'm... get together four hundred dollars, I'll teach you you and your friend. Because mm -hmm. you clear you don't have any useful information. I have lots of information. No, you don't. They're just not asking the right questions. Look, what's the right question? Ah, I got rounded, haven't I? Do you know, yeah. you know anything other than this place? I know lots of different things. Like what? I'm not telling you. That's, that's not the way they give me information for magic thing goes. Look. That's me giving you information and magic. I know I don't see any value in that at all. Okay. Do you know? Yes. Of the portals. The what? Portals. Uh, oh, the, the doorways? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Everybody knows about the doorways. Do you know anyone who travels through them? Mm. Yeah. I'm yeah. not from this life. There's a famous... What? Oh, you do? Oh, you're... Hold on a minute. Let me see how smart Slub is today on that <laughs> topic. Because he's heard of some stuff, but let's see how clued in he is. He That's says, hell. you're a Dora, huh? That's right. Huh. I think how much information is up here, how many different Yeah, but I can't places. get to those places. Oh, yes, but I can. Yeah, but you're not gonna run back and forth with goods and services, are if you? you? If you continue the training, why would I not come back? Because once I teach you one spell, you're done. You can you can do self-taught on the rest faster than I can get it to you. Doors learn shit at an astonishing rate. You do. Exactly. So you're saying that I've got no useful information you could possibly want? No, not at all. Oh, you are so stupid. What? <laughs> he looks around wildly like, what's going on? <laughs> look, I didn't pay for abuse. That's a different room, he says. All right, look, if you want this 400, you're, just, you're wasting. You're wasting a good opportunity. If that's, if that's what you want, then that's the problem. Well, unless, unless you can come up and tell me something that really just knocks my socks off. He examines his goblin socks. <laughs> Uh, they appear to be that that kind of plaidish kind with different colors and like the uh, diamond well, shapes. I need to, I need a bit more information about this place because I'm quite new here. Before I know what kind of information you're going to be looking for, so tell me a little bit about these beastkins and these elves. Why they're at war with each other and what's going on? Oh, that's easy. You want to talk to somebody else? Right. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Don't you know anybody else that lives here? Well, have you gone by the Australian Embassy? Yeah, there's a talking parrot or bird or something. Oh yeah, he knows all about that stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I got valuable fucking glaring and Most skulking to do. Goblin ever. Thank you. He says he straightens his tie up and goes back to his seat. <laughs> he looks really, he's walking with a bit of fucking goblin swagger. We'll see you soon, Betsy. Hmm. Matt, give me a dex slash maneuver roll, please. Yes. You hop over, you hop neatly over the unexpected corpse and bagging area. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, she's right. Uh, yeah, she was left right in the fucking front doorway, literally inches inside. I mean. You're guessing somebody had to fucking uh, push the door and try to move her with that so they could get it shut. Um, for the ease of things, I will just wait until 
take a card for making life better on poor Yana. Um, right. Aww. Cut to morning. Everybody's awake. Uh, the kid is attempting to cook breakfast for everybody. Not good at it. Oh, yeah. Um, right. It, it, it's the hero. Oh, the kid will take that. No. Um, <laughs> right. The kid. The kid has made a very, very basic breakfast. It's not extremely well done, but it's in the edible range. He looks very pleased with himself. Right. Uh, Ahoy! Oh, and he, he gives Ahoy a, like a handful of fucking seeds in a nice little china bowl thing, and Ahoy's like, "Thank you." And the kid goes. In Latin, he's like, I wish you could fucking speak this language too. But he yeah. goes, ha. <laughs> that insta hero just took me at 46. I might be getting a special power of this. Oh my god, get it, Matt. Going for it. Right. Um uh what was I gonna do? Crush the burden of paste, uh molest the kid and pretend you're a priest. No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> My internet went crazy. I gotta say though, overall, check internet seems okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's just expensive, so that's not fun. <laughs> how how much is it? Um, it's like it depends on like uh, uh I have some kind of like data limit, and if I oh, go, really? yeah, so that's not. Damn. Yeah, because they they stopped. Some of the services stopped offering the not data limit to make more money, which is quite terrible. They're going to be finding that out in the U.S. eventually too. Yeah. So, um, right, it's the morning. You guys are all at breakfast. Not yet off your bound. <laughs> Um, you're all breakfast. You got the bird. You got two elf kids now. <laughs> they seem to be talking in Elvish. You don't, you don't understand shit going on. Mm -hmm. No. The birds oh. are in the sea. The kids are bonding. They apparently knew each other in the old village. They both got kicked out. Mm. Yeah. In fact, they seem to be brother and sister, so they know each other fairly well. Oh. I was going to say that they happen to look similar. Yeah, oddly. <laughs> yeah. Oddly. Wow. yeah I, I don't, I, would it be no chance that Sherlock brought the, the brother here, the sister, huh. first? Like we brought the sister? Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, there's going to be a huge fucking group of elders. <laughs> I hope your brother's related to your mother. Anyway, so everybody's at breakfast, and the annoying bird is uh, looking at you and making weird noises, which are annoying. Mm -hmm. Like your phone is making the annoying noises. Yes, no, for sure. okay. So. <laughs> Everybody's just eating their breakfast and fucking staring at each other with hatred. <laughs> it's yeah. a normal kind of breakfast for Yana. Mm. So did you find anything last night? No, says the bird. Not Thank you. you. Oh. Uh, yeah, I've got some dodgy goblin guy who's willing to teach us earth magic or something, but we've got to go oh. for like 400 bucks or some good information. Okay. Huh. Ahoy. Ahoy. Right. If you want to say anything to him, and then I turn to the kid I say in Latin. And if you want to say anything to him, just let me know because I can translate for you. They both say they both speak at the same time and say the same thing. Tell him to stop cheating and go. <laughs> he tells you to stop cheating and go. He tells you to stop cheating and go. Now they're both objecting and saying that they don't cheat and go. <laughs> Um, <laughs> right, ahoy. What? I've been told you can give us a history lesson, please. Oh, what? Just this world. I mean, we are 
Come well, into it. Um, no, no, hold in on. the beginning, shut up, shut up, it was shut up, dark. Shut up, shut up. Shut up. And then shut the world up. was created. Shut, shut, shut. This is regarded Stop by talking. many people Stop as a talking. bad move. Stop talking. Stop talking. Right. Stop talking. Stop talking. Stop What is going on here as far as right, what's up with the elves and the beast people and why do they have this kind of I'm lusty against each other, and what the hell's going on in the forest? And... Well, I've never lived in the forest. That's so weird. <laughs> so, I was owned by Marion for years. Who's Marion? When a boat comes in, he determines how much money they have to pay. At the docks. Have you been to the docks? No. Mm. If you see Marion, hit him in the face as hard as you can with the shovel. Mm. Then use the shovel to dig a hole. Then put him in the hole and use the shovel to cover him up. Okay. If you do that, I'll teach you a spell. <laughs> what? <laughs> really? <laughs> Oh god, oh, wow. <laughs> so you want us to go and kill someone basically. I didn't say kill, he says nodding enthusiastically at you. <laughs> no problem. Well, because for years he would make me sing in this cage and I did. Would you like me to sing for you? Oh uh, you got you had you said you had issues with your old uh, and any time that he was upset about anything, whether I had anything to do with it or not, he would come and shake the cage as hard as he could. Mm. Horrible person. Even worse than you guys. We didn't do anything. He grabbed my beak are just you, now. How did he just be quiet you while you were ranting? I could kill him for you. Him. You could kill him? He says, pointing with his beak at the <laughs> Alex. Well, uh, well, we are good. I don't think he deserves to be killed. How about punch him really hard so that yes. he falls out of his chair? <laughs> what? He says, as innocently as a cockatoo can. <laughs> Ah, nothing. So. Right. So. Uh huh. You were. Oh. Are you going to tell us yet? About what? About what? What's going on? Why do you, the? Uh, is it a kind of class system? I guess. So the elves are a higher class system, and then you've got. But what I mean. Where? Where did these? Where did these different races come from? Look, I I don't know what you've heard, but. I don't think anybody here goes to school. So I don't know anything about these classes, he says, motioning with his wings. But no, not classes like that. Oh, I don't know what that means. Right. Okay, so, it's nothing to do. so what happened was that three years ago, maybe I've been told, because it's about time I was in the egg. When I got out of the egg, what had happened was, uh, oh, the, the beast kin had come here and they uh, they said, oh, we would like a little bit of land so we can make a trading thing. And he also said, well, only if you take a little bit of land. And then the beast kid said, ha, we got bucket mortars. Pew, 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 pew. And the you know, bird begins hopping back and forth on the table and gets, gets excited and shits on the table. <laughs> There's a long, awkward silence as everybody looks at the shit. <laughs> Why do we live in this bird? Can somebody get that? <laughs> I got no hands. You have a beak. I'm not putting my beak in my poop. If somebody could clean that up, I can continue the story. I'm sorry. I don't stand in my cage. I did not mean to do that. That was an accident. The kid hands Alex a cloth. That gives you a fucking look like. <laughs> the bird looks at you. Yeah. The elvish boy looks at you. I hand the coat to the elvish boy. He packs away like, mm. <laughs> I 
Are you serious? Do you, do you see the clothes I'm wearing? Mm, hire somebody, says the bird. I don't care. I hired a little boy. How much do you want to give him? You have no money. Give him a buck. You don't have a buck. Yeah, get it out from uh, Mildred. Does Mildred want to give him a dollar? Yeah. I just clear it off. What's going on here? Stop messing around. What are you cleaning up with bird shit, all right? <laughs> I just looked at it. <laughs> are you giving him a dollar, Mildred? Yeah, I give him a dollar. And then he gives it to the Elvish kid. The Elvish kid takes the cloth, cleans up the shit, and uh, goes to hide the dollar somewhere. So, the bird says, going back to his narrative, so sorry about that. Sorry. Shut <laughs> and up. He says, <laughs> he shuts up and looks at you. Continue story. The bird huffs and flaps his wings. Okay. <sighs> I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue. He flies up and lands out of fucking arm reach from here, just in case. And no bird shitting, please. I'm trying really hard not to. He kind of sidesteps, so he's a little bit more over <laughs> the woman with no name. So anyway, what happened was, he's trying to do it inconspicuously. That makes it worse while he's talking. He says, anyway, what happened was, the, the, the beast kin were taking over the, the elvish land and stuff, and the elves, they didn't like it because if iron's around them, they get sick. And if it's around them more, they die. And they don't like iron. And all the cannons and the beast kin and stuff are all made out of iron. Maybe not the beast kin, but you know what I mean. So then they make it worse because then the beast kin say, we need more iron because we like cannons. Because we don't like elves near here. And the elves are like, we're very upset about this. And these kids said, oh, we know. And so they started mining. The elves lost their fucking minds. And so, well, not, no, they didn't. Um, okay, the mines were never the elves. The beast kin owned the mines. Now, I'm not sure as far as the paperwork goes, because I don't know how to read. I'm still trying to learn from my floor. Because, you know, reading is hard. But the... The kid has been trying to teach me to read, but his language is totally different than what the newspaper is. So obviously this makes it a lot harder to learn to read, right? And so what we've been doing is trying to figure out words that start with letters, but you know, in a different language, they're totally different. Mm. What were we talking about? Okay. Okay. You, you've gone for another round. <sighs> Sorry. Okay, so uh, the Cannons, cannons, did I mention cannons? Yeah. Did I mention the elves? Mm-hmm. All right. So anyway, um, oh, and the elves are the elves are really angry, but they, they got they they got their honored ancestors and the honored ancestors and stuff. But then it gets worse. It gets worse because the Australian embassy made a gift to Queen Danny. She's from Genovia. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Oh, you, you're familiar with Genovia and their famous pears? Uh, they they put, like, nice. the sauce on the pears and stuff. It's really, I thought it's oh. quite lovely. So anyway, of, of a, a, a head of some big creature, and they uh, other people decided that you need something to put the head on. And there's this big stick thing that the elves really value and they carve like faces in this giant stick thing. Um, what's it called? Uh, what's it called? It's a big stick. And there's all these faces and stuff that are carved in it. And it's really big, right? It's like a totem or something. Anyway, so what happened was uh, some, some beast kin went with a couple of teams of uh, uh, animals into the elvish land. And they cut it down. And the elves were like, hey, that's our big face stick thing. And the soldiers with the guys who cut it down went, pew, 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 and so the elves died. And then they brought back that, and they stuck it on the boat. And it's going to be leaving sometime today with Princess Danny. And I'm going to put the head on it. Big head. It's a big head with a big stick. And so the elves are really angry. So angry. Mm -hmm. Right. So this is why they're plotting something at the moment. 
Well, mm. no, they've been they've been wanting to kill off all these beast kid and stuff for yeah, a long I mean, time. They're literally plotting something right now. How can you tell? He looks around. He goes, "You little fucker!" To the boy, he's like, "You're gonna cheat it. Fucking go again, aren't you?" The kid's like. I know he says in Elvis, he's like, or Latin, he's like, I know you're planning on cheating me, bird. He knows you're going to cheat. Anyway, says the bird. It wasn't him. It was uh, right, the overheard information. Um, uh, basically, um, what kind of information? I think I trust you, Ahoy. I think I trust you enough. You're a friend of Sherlock. So. Ahoy cocks his head. Uh, no. Sherlock loves me. Oh my God, that's some valuable information. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I go back to the 